Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a new farm storage system that I designed. It's based on the system that I designed for my piglin bartering farm, which works great, but it's very difficult to decorate. There's a dropper on top of every shulker box and nowhere else to put it. And if you're trying to hide your redstone, then the only way to get rid of it is to make it blend in, like I've done here with a similarly textured block, like basalt. There's also a lot of redstone circuitry up in the ceiling here that can't be moved. These are the item filters that grab the items as they come across the ice flow. Depending on the aesthetic that you're going for inside your base, I've already run into issues with getting this to fit. So stripped it back and came up with this over here, which moves everything down below. This is the entire system here. This is what it looks like with everything but the redstone peeled back. And again, you can see that the Shulker boxes are the highest point on the build, so it is a blank canvas. You can put any aesthetic backdrop over, around, or above it. Um, build up whatever wall types you want around the shulker boxes. But let's take a quick look at what it does. So what we're trying to do is beat the chest wall, really. I hate <laughs> I hate chest walls. I know they're easy, and you really can't live without them. In, an, in the early game, this, is, this may be the only option you've got, but... I wanted to reduce the chest wall all the way down to one chest, you know, so you can do something like that. I don't know, I'm just throwing something up here, but um, if we could get it down to just one chest, we access everything from one chest. Maybe we'll do this here, because I think there's, yeah, this one's full. So, um, but the first problem you run into when trying to do this is that if you, when the bottom chest fills up, it backflows into the next chest and the next chest. So if we pull items out of here, and then go use them, you can see right away it has started filling back up and we can't get items back in. I mean, I got a few in, but now I'm stuck with 14 prismarine and I can't get them back in unless I have another chest that serves as my, you know, like uh, input box or I need access to this top chest so that I can put items back into it. But we don't want that. We want some kind of decoration in front of it so that we are only accessing it from this chest here. So we'll start with the first piece here, which is getting items into the shulker box, which we have to do through the floor because we don't want anything above it or on either side of it. And we can't use the back of it because that's how we're gonna get our comparator read out. And you'll understand why we need a comparator read in a moment. But this is the first piece of it, which is a dropper tower that brings the items up from a um, item sorter. So if we put some items in here, item sorter pulls them out, sticks them into this dropper elevator, dropper elevator shoves them all the way up here, the whole system is silent, so the dropper elevator doesn't make any noise, and the shulker box starts filling up. But, just like with a chest wall, the shulker box will eventually fill up. You run your farm long enough, it's going to fill up, and then when it's full, we have uh, two problems. One, it backs up into the system, and you'd have to clean this out. And two, we have the same problem as before. If I pull items out, and the farm keeps running, we'll just put these back as though they came from the farm, it starts filling up again. So if we had items in our inventory that we're coming back to the storage system with, we either need some sort of an input chest again elsewhere, or, um, there, or well, there's just nowhere to put them. Chest is full and we're stuck. So how do we get around that? Over here, we've got the same thing, but I've added the next component, which is a hopper mine cart underneath the dropper that feeds into the shulker box. And this minecart is positioned in such a way that its hitbox is just high enough to clip into this shulker box, allowing it to pull items out of the shulker box. And there's no, uh, there's not really any uh, trick to aligning this. You just place the cart, and it's good. It'll, it, that's all there is to it. It's, it's in the right spot to suck items out of this shulker box. And so now, if we put items into our input here, they'll ride the dropper tower up just like before go into our shulker box, and because we have the hopper minecart sitting on activator rails, it is locked. So it won't suck items out of this chest. And then when the chest gets full, let's simulate an almost full chest here, what we want to establish is a kind of natural fill level in the chest so that it, it's allowed to fill up enough that we can come grab items as we need them from the storage system but not so full that we can't put items back into the storage system. So we need a way for the chest to, to detect that it is at its natural fill level. And I think it's one or two more stacks before it gets to what I've told it to be the fill level. And then these comparators out the back, working in cooperation with this cake that tells it uh, what the appropriate fill level is, deactivate this torch, pull this cauldron away from this comparator, and unlock the hopper minecart 
sucking items down into what will become our bulk storage system. So we'll just throw a couple more in here and that unlocks it. The system self levels. We'll give it a minute to self level. There we go. Okay, so that is the natural fill level. And now if we put items into the, uh, you know, simulate items coming in from the farm, you'll see that they stream into the shulker box. And then as it reaches its natural fill level, it unlocks and sends the overflow into the bulk storage system below. But now we're gonna have the bulk storage system piling up, you know, and we don't want we don't we don't want a chest wall down here. That's just moving the problem somewhere else. So we'll come over here, and this is that exact same slice I just showed you, but now with a shulker loader added to it. So those items that are flowing through the hopper minecart are going down into a shulker box that when full is broken and sent into a bulk storage system that just holds full shulker boxes. So we're a little bit more compact in our storage here. So the next problem becomes, how do we access those full shulker boxes? We've got a way to access limited quantities. So I just, if I just need a couple stacks of bone, I just grab them from here. And then as the farm runs, it's gonna fill this box back up before continuing to put them in bulk storage. And I've got a way to put them back because this box will never fill completely up. But how do we get to those full shulker boxes down there when we need more items than the shulker box has in it? Maybe we're doing a big project and we need three full shulker boxes of bone or whatever. So what we do then is add a single chest to act as our retrieval chest. So this would be one chest at the end of a row of these. If we go back over here, you can see I've got three slices all connected to one output chest. So each of these different shulkers feeds to this. So if I request a full shulker of this item, this item, and this item, they'll all go to that chest right there. And what we're doing here is we've added so again, same slice as I just showed you, but now we've added a hopper right underneath where you stand that goes down to a comparator and back into the bulk storage system. So very simple circuit. Hopper to grab any items that are thrown on the floor that takes a comparator read off that item and then puts it back in the main storage system. So if we stand in front of the shulker box, open it and press Q on an item, That'll eject the item onto the floor. It'll go into the hopper, take a read, and then get put back into bulk storage so we're not losing that item. And then what that comparator read does is push a redstone block down to turn this torch off, unlocking this hopper, releasing one of the full shulker boxes into a dropper line that sends it up to our retrieval chest. And I'll demonstrate that here. We'll press Q and boom. We have a full shulker box. If we want three, we press it three times. Three, get red, and we get fed three full shulkers of bone. And what we're taking advantage of here is the fact that the stair is low enough in the front of its tread for the hopper underneath it to pick up items that fall. And if you watch the hitbox of a shulker box, it, as it comes out, it lines up perfectly with that upper tread. So any items that we throw out when we press Q, will hit the front of the shulker box and slide down to the floor, perfectly positioned to be sucked up by that hopper below. All right, almost a perfect system, except we still have the problem of overflow. Eventually, you'll run out of empty shulker boxes. So back here, we've got our empty shulker boxes. These feed into the shulker loader. And eventually, the system will run out and we have, we're back to our original overflow problem. So what'll happen is that last shulker box gets broken fed into our system, and then there's no new shulker box to take its place. So the items start backing up into the hopper, the barrel, the hopper, hopper minecart, and then ultimately our shulker box fills completely up. Then the items backflow down into the dropper tower and the whole thing's broken. And we don't want that. So over here, we've got again, the same thing I just showed you, except we've added a circuit to the back here. You'll notice this right here is the only difference between these two units. And what happens here is every time the shulker box reaches its natural fill level, a signal gets sent down this line across the front and over to this block and it moves this block down, disabling the item filter, allowing the items that would otherwise go to this slice to pass over into either an auxiliary backup storage or you can just throw them into lava or the void like I've done here. So. 
Um, I'll demonstrate that really quick. Let's take some more bone, stick it in here, and this is going to work normally. The items are being sent up to our storage system. As it fills up, the items drain down into the system. But if we remove the hopper minecart to simulate being out of shulker boxes, the items will start to backflow into this guy. And now we'll put some more items down here to simulate that happening. I'm just going to throw three stacks in there. And now this guy is going to fill up and We'll see it happen here, hopefully. It should just stop getting filled up because the whole system shut off. Which looks like that, that's it, yeah. So the system is shut off now. Yeah, and we can move down here and there is our block now positioned so that the items are being fed over the filter and down into our waste. And I'll show you that again. I've cleared it out now so you can see it's unlocked again. And if we stick a stack of bone in there again, We'll just watch it and wait until it fills up. And there. Now the system is locked. And items are coming out the, uh, the disposal or backup storage or whatever you'd want to use that for. And if we check in here, you can see that our dropper tower is still safe. Items have not backed up into the dropper tower. And it is three wide tileable. So if we put all that together, we get a system that looks like this with dropper towers that feed up into the shulker boxes above an item sorter. And then below that we have our shulker loaders sandwiched in between with storage for full shulker boxes underneath. And then we have our shulker recall system that detects items when you press Q with a shulker open and gives you full shulker boxes. And then we have our override system that shuts off slices as they fill up, allowing items to be sent off to either uh, overflow storage or you just trash them. Tell me that's not the coolest farm storage system ever. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy with this thing. But let's talk limitations because it's not without limitations. First and foremost is returning shulker boxes to the system and keeping track of how many shulker boxes you should put in it. So the shulker boxes go in the back here. There's a barrel here for each slice. And if we fill this barrel completely with empty shulker boxes, we have to have enough storage in the front to hold the full shulker boxes. Because if the front fills up with full shulker boxes, so we get all the way up to this hopper being full of full shulker boxes, when the next full shulker box is ready to go, it's gonna get broken and rather than fall down into this hopper and get captured by the system, it's just gonna sit on this hopper and after five minutes it's gonna despawn and you lose all the shulker box and all the items that were in it. So you can never give this thing more than uh, more empty shulker boxes than can be fit over here in the full shulker box side. But in a perfect world, what would happen is every time you request a full shulker box of items, the system somehow asks for a, n a new empty to be sent over here to the hopper in the back. So I need to find a way to get a signal off of this front area that dispenses the full shulkers and tell something else somewhere else that this slice, for example, needs three empty shulker boxes to replace the three full shulker boxes that you just requested up here. So for example, I might come over here and say, I want two full shulkers of redstone. And then the system says to a master hopper of empty shulkers, hey, we need two empty shulker boxes sent over to this slice to replace the two full shulkers that I just requested. And then they queue up and the farm continues loading redstone into this particular slice. But um, I don't have an answer for that yet. I'm still working on it and I'd love ideas if anybody sees an obvious way to do that. It's gonna be tricky getting anything into these uh, barrels with how crammed in there they are. But if you think about it, a chest wall doesn't even have a shulker loader. So that's a really a minor hang up. <laughs> it's still better than this, I think. Oh, and one other notable difference between this and the uh, system from my piglin bartering farm is that this system over here runs at 2x hopper speed. Items flow in on the top and then 2x hopper speed item sorters pull them down and fill the chests at 2x. And then the items flow down into shulker boxes underneath at 2x hopper speed. This guy over here only works at 1x hopper speed, primarily because there's just no way to get the hopper minecart situated over two hoppers. I've tried everything. I cannot figure out how to get that cart over two hoppers down here and still pull from this guy up here. 
you have to have the cart, uh, you have to have the rail at an angle like this to get it up there, and um, that kind of limits you. So since we can only pull from the hopper minecart at 1x hopper speed, there's no point making any other aspect of this faster, because if the items were flowing in at 2x hopper speed and then flowing out at only 1x, it would just back up into the dropper tower and the whole thing would break. Okay guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm also going to post a world download so that you can take a look at this. Um, no block by block tutorial, but you might even be able to put it together just looking at the video. <laughs> Um, old fashioned way. Most of the blocks are visible here and the maybe it looks complicated, but the design is pretty straightforward once you kind of see how everything is um, put together. But uh, I will put a world download in the description and a schematic so that you can put it together in your own world if you so please. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.